So my whole life, I've been a pretty bad swimmer. It's not like I didn't try or anything, it's just I never really got into it. And I really lacked the skills. In Australia, you would start primary school at six years old and continue it until you're 12 years old. And then you would continue through to high school. In year two, when I was eight years old, that's when the school forced us all into compulsory swimming lessons. And let me tell you something, I'm surprised I didn't die out there. So basically to get to the pool from our school, we had to walk through many streets in 40 degree heat. 40 degrees Celsius. This is how much it is in Fahrenheit, and this is what we all looked like. Anyway, the main rule was to never walk in front of the teacher. <laughs> what are you doing? Arriving to the pool, there were two types of entries. One was the season pass line. These were the types of people that were really good swimmers and would go there all the time. They would just prance on in like, yep, I don't need to pay. <laughs> and because of this, they were the first ones to get into the change rooms and get into the pool straight away. While on the other hand, there was a second gate where you had to line up and pay cash to get into the pool. This line was always filled with kids trying to find money everywhere in bags, pockets, the ground, just trying to scrape up enough money to try and get in. I was one of those kids. So after finally getting into the pool, we walk into the change rooms while the season pass people walk out and things start to get a bit Weird. From what I remember of the change rooms, girls ran everywhere for some weird reason. And there was a lot of, do you like my swimmers? And, ew, whose undies are those? Ew! Ew, ew, ew! Ew, ew that's so gross. Ew. <laughs> In the first session, they would allocate you in swimming groups based on your swimming abilities. The groups were ranged from group 1 to group 4. Group 1 being the lowest group where kids can barely float, and the group 4 kids, the season pass. There's no point really covering the test as it was pretty boring, but anyway, I got put into group 4. Me. Someone who can barely swim. Group 4. All emotions were flipped once we walked 50 meters to the deep end. Prior to this, I'd never been to the deep end before, so it was a little daunting. So the instructor gave us an option of diving off the blocks into the water or just going from the ground. I chose the ground because what, what else am I going to do in this situation? People started diving one by one and then it was my turn. I was sitting on the edge of the pavement with my arms out ready to dive. I had no idea what I was doing. My body hits the water with a huge slap and my goggles just filled up with water. As soon as I hit the water, I realized what was happening. I splashed everywhere around trying to get to the surface and I immediately went to the wall. You all right? I can't swim, help! I can swim! I promise. Next, we had to swim a whole lap in freestyle and that turned out to be more embarrassing. Ready, set, go. <laughs> the sad thing was that the instructor didn't stop me or anything. He just encouraged me to keep going. This didn't help me at all because I still had the fear of drowning. <laughs> Doing great. So close. Yeah. Good job. Keep it up. You're doing good. Yep. Swim. Almost there. Great work. Keep it up. Up it up. Congrats. So I managed to finish the whole lap, which was pretty surprising, but by the end of it, my muscles were aching so much. I just wasn't cut out for it. I wouldn't have lasted much longer out there. Everyone, you did great, except Jess. Can I talk to you for a minute, Jess? Look, you're a really great swimmer and all, but I think you would be better in group three. Or one. To be honest, I kind of expected this talk from the instructor because he literally saw me like half drowning twice. I didn't mind though because I got to spend like half an hour with the elite squad when I really shouldn't have been there. Let's be honest. Don't get me wrong, Ashley really likes swimming, but I'm just really not good at it. Whenever I do go in the water these days, you will most likely see me doing the doggy paddle at some point. Not always, just sometimes. 90% of the time. Here's a random fact to leave on. One of my friends saw a diaper at the bottom of the pool and it still had poo in it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my first ever proper video on this channel. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel.